Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to swap the head of a model and merge two armatures together to make one single armature. Let's get started. If you're new to Blender and you haven't already watched my Blender beginner video, pause the video here and go back and watch it, and then this video will make a lot more sense. If you're looking for a model to edit while you follow along with this video, feel free to join my Patreon, where I upload a new model every month for my top patrons. So I have my model here in Blender. She's fixed, she's ready, she's basically done, ready to go. But I've decided that I want a different head on her. So first things first, I'm going to import the FBX of the model with the head that I actually do want. Okay, so now as you can see, it imported this model right on top of this other model that I have. And so I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down. I'm going to choose the armature of the new one that I just dropped in. So I can double check by clicking on the armature drop down and then making sure that the one that I want is highlighted. And I look at this little green man that says armature 001 and I'm going to select that model from the drop down in the cats menu. And I'm going to fix my model. And what I'm going to want to do is separate all of the materials on the new model. If it makes it easier, you can turn off all of the other model for the time being. So I'm going to separate the body by materials. And once she's separated by materials, I'm going to click on all of the things that I don't want. And then I'm going to click X and click delete. Now I have a blank armature with just my head on it. And just for my own sanity, I'm going to fix this hair material so it doesn't look so awful. Now this is an optional step. I'm going to select the armature and I'm going to go into edit mode, which you can get through by this menu or you can click tab. And I'm just going to delete some of these bones that are not part of the head and hair. I'm going to leave the collarbones so that I can kind of line it up with my other model. But I'm going to delete most of these other bones because they're not going to be needed when I merge the two models together. So like I said, you don't have to do this. When you merge your models, it will automatically take these bones away, but I like to do it just for the sake of my own sanity. Sometimes it's hard to line up bones when there's too many. And then I'm just going to click X and delete bones. I'm going to exit out of edit mode, and now I can turn on my other armature and my other body. Okay, so now that my other body is on, you see that they are not lined up. I'm going to select the new model that I want to merge. I'm going to shift select all the way down, and then I'm going to move and scale. It looks like the head is kind of a good scale. I think it just needs to be moved. If you want to move it up and down, G is move, and then I want to move it on the up and down axis, so I'm going to press Z as well. And that's going to constrain it so no matter which way I move my mouse it's going to go up and down only so I'm just going to move her head down so it matches up with my other head and that looks about right I'm going to change my axis to the side to make sure that her head is lined up and I'm going to press G again to move and I'm going to move it on the Y axis which is front to back so I'm just going to move her forward just a tad sometimes your models are not going to line up perfectly but it's pretty good to like match up different bones like the collar bones because that'll give you like a proper neck height so as you can see this actually looks pretty accurate so I think I'm good with the placement of this head as it is right now so now what I have to do is click outside of that and I'm gonna go into my original armature and I'm gonna find face the hair and the hat and I'm gonna go out here and I'm actually going to delete those out of the old armature so now you see it pretty much looks good except for now I have two armatures and I want these armatures to be together now you can see that there's the armature with the little orange man and then you can see underneath it there's another armature name with the little green man what you're gonna be merging is the name of the armature with the green man not the orange sometimes they get mixed up as you can see these are opposite so when I come down here, I'm going to click on the tab of custom model creation and I'm going to make sure that my base is armature and my to merge is armature 001. So now I'm going to not join my meshes because I want them separately. Then I click apply transforms and then click on merge bones. Make sure that remove 08 bones is checked so you don't have any extra bones in your armature and go ahead and merge your armatures together with the button. And ta-da! It's magically merged. All of the bones that are necessary are there. All of the duplicate bones are removed. And all of your weight painting is intact. 
So now I have this model, same exact model, but a different head, and I can export her to FBX, and she will work perfectly in Unity, just as the original model did. Now this is an awesome creation tool. You can do this to merge clothing onto models, you can do this to merge different hands or feet or legs or anything you want. It doesn't just apply to heads, so this is really good. It preserves weight painting, properly links all of your bones together, and it's a really essential thing to learn how to do if you want to make custom models in VRChat. So I highly recommend that you give this a go, try it out, and let me know how it goes in the comments. If you're interested in buying either of these models, they're both available for sale along with a bunch of other ones in my Discord server, which I will link below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you never miss one of my uploads. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video!